Kelly, and today we're going to be talking about how to use Decount. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So when you use Decount, it's generally to record things from a database on a certain criteria, right? So, you know, it, it can be used on more complex levels, but for this example, we'll obviously keep it pretty simple. Uh, so looking at my Excel sheet right here, I have a set of deliveries with delivery numbers, a delivery date, and then the amount uh, for each delivery. And what I want to try to do is use the decomp function to record the number of instances where the amount for the, each delivery was $1,000, as you can see right here. So the way the decomp formula works is you put equals decomp, and then it's asking for the database. So the database would just be this entire table right here. And then it's asking for the field, and the field would be the column where, you're, where it's going to search for the amounts that match. You got it, our criteria right here. And that's the last thing that you would input. So for this example, we want to um, find out how many times the amount is equal to 1,000. So the way we're going to do that is do equals decount, parentheses, highlight the whole table, comma. Now you can highlight the amount column, but it's easier to just put three. And the reason I know how to do this is that it's the third column. So I just put three and it identifies it as such. Uh, now it's asking for the criteria, which is right over here. And close parentheses, enter. So Excel gave us two. There are two instances where the amount is equal to $1,000. And we can see that here in order 1,001 and then order 1,005, each of which have $1,000. So this has been a quick tutorial on how to use decount. Obviously, a very simplistic method uh, on this example, but can be applied to databases that have hundreds of, of even thousands of uh, data entries. So definitely a very useful tool. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in, and we hope to see you next week. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel Chat.